Hey everybody, Cody Burleson here and you're watching Lunch Bites, brought to you by Base 22. Lunch Bites are quick and simple nuggets to feed your appetite for knowledge. They're always 10 minutes or less. They're designed to bring you essential information fast and they're a fun-filled way to cap off your lunch hour. Today's Lunch Bite is one in a series that we're doing on developing websites using IBM's Workplace Web Content Management, or WCM for short. In today's specific topic, we're going to be going all over WCM security. So hopefully you have your coffee. Let's begin. In WCM, you have three basic levels of control where you can apply access controls to items. It starts at the library level. And then it moves down to the library item types, things like authoring templates, components, content, presentation templates, those major categories that you see in the left in the WCM authoring UI. And then, of course, in WCM, you also can secure things individually at the, the item level. So a site can have its own security applied. A site area can have unique security applied. We really want to start at the top, at the library item level. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is access the WebSphere Portal Administrative Console. And when you look over on the left under Portal Settings, no, I'm sorry, Portal Content, you'll see a link for Web Content Libraries. And that, of course, brings up a list of all the Web Content Libraries that you've created. For each library, you have two keys, two areas where you can set permissions. So the first key represents permissions that you can set at the library level itself, and the second key represents those um, library item types, things like authoring templates, components, etc. So let's go back and take a look at the library level first. And you'll see we have a number of different roles that we can put user groups or individual users in. Everything from administrator down to user. It's important to realize that Three of these roles, even though they are visible in the UI, just do not apply when it comes to library security. And that's the security administrator, the delegator, and the privileged user. So even though you see those things in the UI, for the most part, you can just ignore them. Instead, we're going to focus on the administrator, the manager, the editor, the contributor, and the user roles. Starting at the bottom, the user role is the lowest level of access. Um, you have to at least be in the user role if you want to be able to view any published content from the library. So one of the easiest ways to apply security at the library level for this role is to just use the virtual user groups in Portal, such as all authenticated Portal users or the anonymous Portal user. Sometimes uh, you might actually want to put both of those groups in the user role. Um, and it's important to remember that even if you're in the user role at the library level, you still need to be in the user role at the item level if you want to, to be able to view published content. So you need it in both places. Next is the contributor role. Now, the contributor role is the minimum role required in order to access content from the authoring portlet. So if you want your content authors to be able to see those categories of things such as content or components in the WCM authoring UI, you need to at least put them in the contributor role. And by being in the contributor role, they'll also get access to the My Items and All Items views. Next up in the chain is the editor role. And in general, an editor can do everything a contributor can do um, with the addition of view item types, create new items, add and remove links, apply authoring templates, copy, delete, edit, of course, uh, things like that. And we move up in the chain to the manager role. Manager can do everything an editor can do. Plus, the manager can edit access settings, can push items uh, into the next stage of the workflow, can purge deleted items, can unlock locked items, and can edit user profile. Finally, you have the administrator role. And of course, administrator can do just about anything a manager can do, um, and a little bit more, view, edit, delete, or approve any item. So there you have your roles for the library level access control. And uh, like I said, security administrator, delegator, privileged user, those can be ignored because they don't apply to library security for WCM. Now, 
from top to bottom, uh, it's additive, if you will. Let me see if I can explain this. If I'm a user in the administrator role, I do not also need to be a user in the user role or the contributor role or the editor role. Um, the effective access uh, is anything below. So if I'm in an administrator role, I am effectively also a manager, editor, contributor, or user. If I'm in the editor role, I am an editor and I am effectively also a contributor and user. Something else I want to show you real quick while we're looking at the screen is this uh, propagation and inheritance. Uh, these are really pretty simple concepts. Quick chart to go over it. Um, propagation basically means that you're extending the role assignments from the level that you're applying them down to all child resources. So you can see these red lines. Uh, if I turn propagation on here, I'm extending the role assignments down to all this item's children. And inheritance uh, means that you're acquiring role assignments from parent resources. So if I go down here and I have inheritance, then this item is going to acquire its role assignments all the way up to its parent resource, as long as inheritance is turned on all the way down this chain. So I've set up a user called content author one and I put them in a group called content authors and I want to show you that when I go to the WCM UI I can't see any of the items I need to see. Um, I can see my items and all items but I can't really see any sites, site areas or any components or content um, and the reason why is how I've got this set up. Let me log back in as a, an administrative user um, WPS admin and I'm going to go to web content libraries and first I'm going to look at the library level access and if you look I've got the editor role I've got allow propagation turned off now I've put content authors in the editor role but because I've turned off propagation it's not going to push down so you'll see if you go down to the resource level or the library item types, the second key, I need to give my content authors editor access. So I'm going to click add, search for the right group, here are my content authors, and I'm going to click OK and apply and done. I also want to give my content authors the ability at least to see the sites and site areas um, that they need to to put the content in and such. So I'm going to put them in the contributor role of sites and site areas. Search for my group, find my content authors, click OK, back on the breadcrumb, apply, and done. Okay, so now I should be able to log out, uh, log back in as content author one and take a look at WCM authoring and you can see now I have access to the, the, the content category and I also have access to sites and site areas. So that's about all the time we have for today. Hopefully that was enough to get you just kind of warmed up on uh, WCM security concepts. All the information that we went over today is in the WebSphere Portal Info Center. Until next time, have a good time. Bye.